up next, we've got to talk about white women, because at least a handful of them are out of control. <laughs> a organized protest of hundreds of white women called Here for the Kids uh, recently showed up to boycott and sit in at the Capitol in Colorado, lobbying to, according to CNN's reporting, uh, <laughs> use their quote unquote privilege in a sit-in to demand that Governor Jared Polis ban guns and create a presumably mandatory gun buyback program. Not to like these piecemeal gun control efforts that we see from Democrats and across the country. They literally were like, we demand that he ban all guns via executive order. And of course, the governor responded that that is not constitutional, but <laughs> they wanted to uh, Here for the kids is a movement created after a mass shooting in Nashville uh, in March that includes uh, it calls for primarily white women to peacefully sit in until Polis, who is the governor, um, signs an executive order banning guns. It was founded by two women of color, including Syra Rao of Internet Infamy, who is South Asian American and Tina Strawn, who is black. Both are mothers. And Strawn told CNN the movement calls for white women to be at the forefront of the sit in because we know what happens when we show up with demands. <laughs> We're always the ones whose bodies are in the most danger and at the most risk. So it appealed to me very much that this was actually a time where we are asking black folks and other marginalized and vulnerable communities to sit this one out and allow the white women and their privileged bodies, their privilege and their power to show up. It's time for them to show up. And of course, the movement has garnered support from the entertainment industry, including white actresses, Amy Schumer, Michelle Watkins, and Lake Bell. Um, <laughs> look, yikes, is all I have to say. I mean, I'm, I am a white woman, but I have to admit, white women are increasingly becoming a menace in our society. And I, I anticipate we're one step away from these people, like, taking off their shirts and, like, sitting in the Capitol. I, I, what's your plan? You're going to take your Karen energy and harass people until they violate the Constitution, and then it's going to go through the courts and get thrown out anyways. Like, you, I, I can't stand activists who don't even take the time to understand basic public policy, rule of law, and how to do things and what's within, like, the actual uh, potential for you to achieve when it comes to how you want to move things forward in the country. This is just, they're asshats. I mean, they look like clowns. It's, it's so ridiculous. This isn't how you get things done. You don't have realistic policy goals in mind. And boy, you want to talk about privilege? I can't imagine being so privileged as to not only care about being able to defend myself with a gun, but to have the audacity to tell other people that they don't need the right to defend themselves with a gun. You have to be so insulated from issues. Yeah, you live like in a nice gated community in a safe suburb with police that are two minutes away and very well funded. So I understand, Susan, that you don't feel you need a firearm for self-defense. Uh, but I also find this whole thing so racially divisive, like, oh, white women need to stand up and do their part and use their privileged bodies and all this nonsense. It's like uh, all these these uh, these women of color could have protested. Nothing would have happened to them either. Gun control protests happen all the time peacefully. Uh, the, the governor is literally a Democrat. I mean, he's not going to arrest them or punish them or anything. It's just the whole thing is so silly and nonsensical and absurd. Um, especially because they don't even actually believe that it will work. So Syra Rao, who is one of the people, admitted in this CNN article, state legislation does not work. Why? Because guns can cross state lines. You can print guns on 3D printers. State <laughs> legislation is not working. It's just not working. It doesn't matter what it is. So that is a quote from the same woman organizing a sit-in at the Capitol demanding state action to ban the guns they're virtue signaling and they're fundraising let's be honest they're fundraising i mean that this is just such a complete clown show like i said and I, i've been in these rooms i've been in these diversity trainings i've sat through it where they basically want white people and especially white women to just come out and like self-logicalate themselves and and have all this guilt and remorse and like take on all these burdens and I mean, I think these people are well-meaning, but I think they're absolutely cracked. And I, I think that they are being used as pawns. Thank God. I mean, Jared Polis, I see a lot of people in the Libertarian Party criticize him. I don't get it. He is a Democrat. And for sure, he does things I don't like as a Democrat. But as a whole, I would argue he's still the most libertarian governor in the country. I can't think of a Republican who's more libertarian than him in that role at the moment. And 
he just, I love what he said about this. I think that it's just sort of common sense. And, and that is common sense is leaving the left. They are completely ruled by feelings and emotions and just PR stunts versus actually trying to engage in meaningful policy reform, having conversations, you know, not that I in any way condone this or want to see this happen. But the reality is, if they were smarter, they probably could get more gun control done in the country, because I think there are a number of people in the middle and on the right who would agree to things like red, red flag laws and and things of that nature. Again, I don't support that at all. Just talking strategy here. Um, But if you were to go about this in a smarter way, I think you could get things like that done, especially in purple states like Colorado. Um, But they they don't actually intend to get things done is what I'm left with is, is they just really aren't that's not the end goal because if it was you'd be doing things much differently